What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today we're going over 5 beginner gimbal moves that you should be using when you're shooting on your smartphone gimbals. Now in the past I've talked about how to balance your gimbals and which gimbal to use when you're shooting with what camera and stuff like that. But today I wanted to focus in and show you guys exactly why gimbals are so useful by showing you some beginner basic movements that you can be using on your own videos. And these 5 shots are the push in or pull out shot, the follow shot, the orbit shot, the low angle shot and the tilt down shot. So right now I'm gonna go downstairs. Mamma's gonna help me make some coffee. I'm gonna shoot these five different shots and you guys will be able to learn how I shoot each gimbal movement and use it in the future. Honey, can you help me film a YouTube video? You're gonna make coffee. Yeah, of course. Yeah? yeah. You're gonna make coffee for me? Yeah, Okay. good. Okay, so we're down here in a kitchen right now. We're gonna turn on the coffee machine over there. Mamma's over there getting ready. I've got the lighting set up ready and everything. So I'm gonna set up the Zing Smooth Q2 and then we're gonna show you guys some behind. And I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes of these gimbal movements. So the first gimbal movement that we are doing right now is gonna be the push in or push out shot. This one's very easy. All you're doing is simply just pushing into your subject or pulling out away from your subject. So the next shot that we're going over is gonna be called the follow shot. For this shot, what you're doing is you're following your subject and you're trying to keep the subject at the center of attention pretty much. I'm gonna follow me, I'm lifting this coffee, what is it called? Portable filter. Portable filter thingy up to the grinder. And so what I want is just one continuous shot of her grabbing the filter and then lifting it up to the grinder and then pushing it and grinding the beans. So we're gonna attempt to get that shot right now and here's how it's gonna look. Okay, so the next shot that we're gonna be going over is the orbit shot. And this one, what you're doing is you're circling or doing a half circle around your object or subject. And for me, the orbit shot is one of the easiest ways where you can get that really cinematic look because your background's moving. There's a ton of movement that you can create in this one simple shot. Okay, so the next shot is gonna be called the low angle shot. And this one's very simple. It's exactly how it sounds. Basically what you're doing is you're shooting from very low and very close to the ground. And this is great for like feet shots and like shots of uh, people moving around and walking. You don't really see things from that perspective a whole ton. So that's why it can be good if you use those kind of shots. And the last shot that we're going over is the tilt down shot. So basically how you wanna start is you want your phone facing down uh, in a bird's eye view so you kinda see the top down of things. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down as you're tilting the gimbal up. And so what that does is it really maximizes the amount of movement that you get in your shot. And this kind of shot definitely does take some time to practice and sort of get right. But once you perfect that movement, it looks really, really good in camera. Now that we know what each shot looks like, let's put them all together with some dope music and a little bit of sound design. That's it for this video guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. My name is Alex Chong and I'll see you later. Bye.